Typically, most buildings harm the environment. Not this one. A living building, in its most elemental form, is a building that gives back more to the environment than it takes. And the York region, when they had set out to design this building, wanted to create the greenest, most sustainable building in Canada, if not North America. This building is part of the forest ecosystem. So it's not a building in a forest. It's not a forest around a building. It's part of the forest. So here we have one of the magnificent red pines. And just like the building, you see way, way up in the canopy there, you see the, the leaves of the pine needles and their purpose is to catch the energy of the sun. And they feed it back into the tree and help it to grow. Also, you see the canopy up top where the rainwater falls. Again, just like the building, the rainwater is captured to charge the cisterns and provide some life to the building. Both the building is symbiotic with the forest, the forest is symbiotic with the building. It's a relationship that will last for decades. There are only eight buildings that are so far certified in the entire world. And the Living Building Challenge requires you to meet green standards um, in ways that no other standards have required before. For example, net zero energy. The building harnesses from the environment more energy than it uses. Over a year's period, it puts more energy into the grid than it takes. So that means it's net positive. We wanted to maximize the amount of solar energy we can get on the roof and use this simulation to determine the impact of the trees surrounding the building. Any material that you see here, if, if it is available, are actually received from within 800 kilometers around this project. So we don't need to use fossil fuels to bring everything from different places in the world. We can do this right from, from our backyard. Using cross-laminated timber, something that's a little newer in the industry, you can see every structure element that's out there. From the roof, walls, right down to the floor, everything is visible, and that's the beauty of that building. Nothing is hidden, nothing is covered. Also, we have all the cutting-edge technologies here, so that means that, that we don't need to uh, forego those cutting-edge technologies just because we want to be environmental friendly. These two can uh, coexist. That was the first time I got goosebumps. You think you were seeing it on the drawings, but when you entered, you could see, you could feel that beauty of this building that coming together. This building is going to exist, hopefully for another hundred or more years, and it will continue the learning. People will come here to understand what an all wood building is about, to understand what being sustainable is all about, what making the right choices, the tough choices is all about. This building will inspire people for decades.